Do you have to be your best friend and sometimes your, your worst enemy? What is going on everybody? Back with another one. Another Monday, about to get some back in. Let me show you what time it is. Let's see if you can see it. See that? All right, so I'm gonna start showing me. Start showing the date, start showing the time because I'm just throwing these. I have so much content I need to get out. I need to do better. So what's gonna actually help me, I'm actually gonna just start showing the date at the beginning of the video. So that can actually help me start categorizing it actually a little bit better. So, and then so you guys can know also what's kind of going on with the, uh, the progress and where I'm at with everything, seeing that everything is lining up. So yeah, another back day. So I'm gonna get some warm ups in, uh, pretty simple. When I say simple, just meaning more fundamental. Heavy, high rep range, and we're gonna get to it. So I like this particular gym because they have some of the hammer strength machines that for back, they really don't have in a lot of other gyms that I go to. So that's pretty cool. I'm also thinking about uh, joining another gym. I'm on the hunt for a 24 hour gym because five o'clock isn't just really working to me as much as I would like. So I think I want to join like a 24 hour gym so I can start getting into the gym maybe like four o'clock, 4 a.m. That would be very, very, very cool. So looking into that, but I don't want to pay another gym membership. I'm just, it's like, come on, man. So we'll see. But um, yeah, so that's really what's on the agenda. I gotta warm up these joints, warm up these tendons. And then uh, we're gonna get to it. So hang out. Let me set my little, there we go, gotta set the watch. You know it doesn't count unless you have the, the Apple Watch tracking the workout. So we get a, get a warm up in, uh, stretch out. And yeah, we're gonna get to it. So hang out, let's see what's going on. You know, it's about, like I said, it's not so much about the specialty I'm doing all this fancy stuff. Everything that I do is out there. You know, it's nothing. Now, how I group it together, I do have a system, but the workouts are pretty, you know, everyone have, se have seen these type of workouts, but it's the system that I implement and it's the consistency with it. So I hope you guys can start adopting that as well, uh, seeing the consistency and what you guys need to do, where you're lacking in your consistency and how you can do better on that so that's what really just helps me a lot you know I'm being long-winded but that's that is what really has made a difference in my life was just staying on course not veering off not not getting sidetracked by another shiny object so now I'm focusing on this it's like what is it that you want to do where do you want to go who do you want to become and staying on that course of action I think that's really the key one of the keys and an important key with all of this is we have a tendency to veer off track when we see the hot new thing as opposed to, hey, listen, let me stay diligent on what I'm doing, what I need to focus on and seeing it all the way through. But a lot of times people aren't reaching their limit, they're not reaching their goal because they're so focused on the new this, the new that. No, stick with what you need to do, stay, stay on your course. I don't know when the time is going to be for you, but you got the, the point is, the moral is, you have to just stay with it. So. Just want to keep that in mind. But anyway, long rant. Let's get into it. You know me and these rants. I can't help it. But let's get into it, guys. More on the way. Come on. Let's work. I've just been feeling so good just training heavy. It just intensity. With that intensity again, it's crazy. It just takes me back to when I first, first started working out. And it's like the focus was just, it was just different back then. And kind of woke me up a little bit also like that. I've been slacking. I've been slacking. You got to put that. I'm always, a, I'm big on self-audit, self-audit, self-audit and everything. You've got to have a self-audit. You got to look in that mirror and really say, okay, where am I messing up at? Where am I screwing up at? And you got to be brutally honest. You know, is the work that you're putting in, is it really work or is it just busy work to say that you put in work? You know, are you really elevating? And just talking about this, I know I definitely wasn't. Like I, I 100% was not, I wasn't pushing as much because I'm getting sidetracked, I'm, I'm listening to others, you know, thinking this is what this group wants, that group wants, as opposed to what the hell do I wanna do? What do, how do I wanna train? Who do I wanna be? And I think that's been 
the biggest thing I've had to overcome over the last couple of years was I had to remember and really start coming, really focus on well, what do I want to do? Who do I want to be? And that really happened over the last couple of years where it made me just snap out of it. And I'm very grateful that, it woke, that I snapped out of it and I woke the hell up because I'm, I was like, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Who do you want to be? What do you want to do? Right? So let's get this set in, guys. about to hit the end of the year. This is this is when I start getting a little uneasy. Like holidays, I'm not good with holidays, you know, for obvious reasons. You guys, you guys already know, I don't do well with holidays. And then holidays roll right into the new year, which is like a telltale sign, like it's three months from my birthday. This one is gonna be a big one. And I've been trying to just stay locked in and stay 100% focused because all these things are, are coming in my direction that can throw me off course. And you have to be diligently working on trying to not to let it get to you stay on your path. So message to you guys also, stay diligent on that path always. So with the close grip pull downs, I definitely like to go way heavier than I would normally do on the straight bar or the wide lap bar. So the lap bar, the, the wide, the wide grip bar. So I do like to do one, this one set, not the heaviest, just to kind of get a gauge for it, just get a feel for it. Then I like to just ramp it up immediately and get heavy, keep the reps eight or better. Today is just strictly like eight to tens. That's really the focal point. And uh, yeah, so uh, let's lock in. Let's hit this first set. Let's take it there. <laughs> Sometimes my biceps are just like so fried, or I don't know, every now and then the bicep just feels a little bit tender, like I hyperextended it. So I just have to kind of make sure I gauge, okay, how's it feeling on the first set? And then once I get the green light, you know, we get crazy. So, all right, let's hop into a heavy set and uh, let's get to it.
We can't have weaknesses, guys. I'm a firm believer in that. We cannot have weaknesses. We cannot have... We have to turn those weaknesses into our strengths. I'm a firm, firm believer in that. You know, I have to, that's why it comes back to that self-audit, where you have to look at yourself and say, all right, where can I improve on? And be brutally honest, and it's gonna suck, it's gonna hurt. And you can't rely on anyone else to do it, but you, you have to be your best friend, and sometimes your, your worst enemy, in a lot of ways. Best friend to where, hey, I'm relying, you're relying on your internal belief and uh, internal inspiration. Sometimes your worst enemy because that's what's gonna keep you uncomfortable because you're never gonna be satisfied. It's this weird battle. I don't know. So if you are wondering, if anybody's wondering, if anybody even cares, <laughs> my current rate, current weight is 235, and I'm like around 13% body fat. So like I said, we're putting on size, trying to put on mass. I'm expecting to put on some body fat with it, but that's fine if we can guess, as long as the mass is coming, the quality size is coming with it, so it's cool. But uh, yeah, so 235. 13%, which isn't bad. Still somewhat lean, still have visible abs. I don't have a gut just as yet, so, but it, it's, it's coming though, so I don't. The thing with even putting on size, it's not an excuse just to go crazy and eat everything. I'm still pretty calculated, I'm still pretty um, meticulous in what I'm eating and how often I'm eating as well. It's not just go crazy, so if anybody, trying to put weight on and things like that. But you still want to have a method to your mayhem with uh, when you're trying to achieve those gains. So just always keep that in mind. Let's add another plate. Let's knock out another set. It's not a big deal. It's not a big deal if we're it's a shorter one. Okay, now we're gonna...
what is going on everybody that is a wrap officially it was a long 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 day just wanted to wrap up with you guys since you guys know i made it to jujitsu it was a little rough it was a little rough having a couple days off from training because of the holidays but back at it and guess what do it all again tomorrow stay consistent stay dedicated i just want to show you guys that regardless of wherever i'm at i'm still climbing still grinding still trying to move up move forward still trying to grow still trying to learn and you do the same we're in this together let's go